Aloha! It's Jason from Jason's Tiki Adventures, and I'm back with another Tiki Mug unboxing. This time, I noticed a big misstep by the shipper before I've even opened the box. Now, this is a mug I bought on eBay. And when you sell on eBay, you can use eBay to print out your shipping labels. And because eBay is a big entity, they have a discounted rate with the post office. The eBay seller who sold this to me has been on eBay since July 5th, 1999. They've been on eBay for 20 years. And yet, they walked up to the counter of the post office. They paid $14.20, and they should have paid $10.86. So overpaying by $3.50 is foolish. It's just throwing money away. So make sure that if you don't know how to do it uh, online, you're going to sell something, uh, reach out to me. I'll be happy to help you because I hate when I see people uh, throw money away. Uh, same thing happened when I got something from Ecom Bookham. Mrs. Ecom Bookham was doing it the wrong way too and was overpaying like $3 a box. And if you ship a lot of mugs, $3 a box will add up quick over a year. So uh, let's open the box. It's in pretty good shape. That, they definitely reused the box from something else. I don't mind that. I like recycling boxes. So let's see how they did. This is a vintage mug. I've been getting a lot of modern mugs, uh, but whenever I can find a vintage, uh, especially the Holy Grails, my collection is pretty big. I've been collecting tiki mugs since 2001, so I've got a pretty extensive collection. And, um, I, you know, I, I don't find too many vintage ones I don't have, but when I do, I get excited. All right, first thing I see is newspaper. Newspaper is not a shipping material. I'm just shocked. An eBay seller of 20 years doesn't know how to print out shipping labels and to use a newspaper. Newspaper, not a shipping material. Do not use it. It, it does not fill the voids like peanuts and bubbles do, and... It's dirty. You get ink all over your hands. As a buyer, I am never uh, happy to pull out newspaper because it gets ink on everything. All right, so there's the uh, fancy dancy little uh, little package, like the bubble wrap envelope. That's pretty. I never seen that, especially in this this bright silver color. And ta-da! All right, for those of you who are maybe even new to tiki mug collecting, usually when you think of tiki mugs, you think of uh, usually a darker colors, more tiki looking, and you might pass this by. This might be what we would call party city tiki, which is kind of crappy tiki. But no, this is actually one that's very heavily sought after. It's from the Hawaiian village uh, in Tampa, Florida. And this is called the Devil's Mask. And, uh, ooh, and it's got the original... OMC sticker. If you don't know what OMC stands for, it is Odagiri Mercantile Company. And this mug's like 50 years old. And these OMC stickers are usually on the mug still. Can you imagine how good the glue was 50 years ago that these stickers are still on there? That is pretty impressive. So, uh, you know, the mug got me one piece. That's definitely the bottom line. But I hate, hate, hate to see people waste money when they don't have to. So, again, if you don't know how to ship where you're saving money, by shipping online, reach out to me. I'm happy to help you. Just head over to Facebook, find Jason's Tiki Adventures, send me a message, and I'll be happy to help you. And while you're at Jason's Tiki Adventures, make sure you click like on the page. I'll be doing more of these unboxing videos. I'll be doing uh, Tiki Bar reviews, especially all the new ones. I'm traveling the country quite a bit, hitting all the brand new Tiki Bars and anything else cool that comes down the Tiki Pike. So with that, Jason from Jason's Tiki Adventures is saying aloha and a Maluna.